Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. Today's video is going to be all about the Vava UST Ultra Short Throw 4K Laser Projector. <laughs> I'm going to do a full on re review of it and I'll do it right after the intro. Okay, so this is the Vava 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. Uh, what do you get in the box? You get the Vava 4K Laser Projector with your 60 watt Harman Kardon soundbar. Uh, full on price for this unit is gonna be $27.99. If you wanna have the screen and the uh, projector itself together, you're looking at about roughly 4,600 uh, bucks. To be honest, that's a lot of money to a lot of people. But if you're thinking about the size comparison that you're gonna be buying a TV with to match this type of performance, you're gonna be spending a lot of money as well. So, I mean, you kind of take the good with the bad. Now, this thing goes up to 150 inches. Uh, what we're doing is we're using this on a 100 inch screen right now. So the nitty gritty of this is gonna be 2500 lumen uh, laser engine. It's a DLP, it's a laser DLP. Apparently you get 25,000 hours out of this laser engine. Um, at that 25,000 hours, it doesn't turn off. It just gets 50% dimmer from its initial brightness. On the back, you get three HDMIs. One of them has an arc. You have an audio in, audio out for headphones, optical in if you want to use this as a soundbar. You have a USB and a network RJ45 in. So the very first thing you're going to do is get it out of the box and get your alignment done. So with your alignment, you're going to have to make sure it's level on your surface and you're going to have to basically move it in and out to match the screen to the image that you're going to want to broadcast onto. Next thing you're going to do is make sure it's level left and right and then Make sure it's level uh, front and back. After that, you're gonna work on the keystone adjustment. Make sure everything's nice and true. You can also set up your network, your Bluetooth settings, and you also have a built-in hard drive disk. So overall, the operation of this thing is it's pretty quiet, gives off very minimal heat. The image is pretty uniform throughout the entire visible field. I did notice that sometimes that on the corners, that the focus was a little out versus the center. And there was very, very uh, hard times for me to try to make it 100% perfect. I'm not sure if the screen wasn't true. I don't know if there was something with the projector itself, but that's just what I noticed with setting mine up. Make sure that you um, mate this with an ultra short throw screen. If you don't, you're gonna get uh, bleed onto the ceiling and it's really gonna ruin the overall experience that you're gonna have with this. So make sure you pair your ultra short throw projector with an ultra short throw screen. You can use this on an ALR screen, but then like I was talking about, you do get that light bleed onto different surfaces. Sound quality from the Harman Kardon soundbar is really good. I was really surprised about the, the sound performance that came out of there. You get two 30 watt um, speakers in there and it doesn't necessarily fill the room like a full on home theater would, but you do get a lot of realistic sound imaging coming from that sound bar. <laughs> It sounds like it's surround sound. All right, guys, the first thing I want to talk about is the sound quality that comes out of the Harman Kardon included sound bar that's actually in this unit. So in this unit, you get the laser projector, you get the smart uh, TV type of apps in there as well. You also get the um, Harman Kardon sound bar. So it's an all-in-one unit. So with that, you actually get a really good um, type of experience. Like we're just listening to this little Trinov demo right here. Traditionally with sound bars, you don't really get like, like a surround type of effect. You do get a pretty decent um, and realistic surround type of effect with this one. We kind of have, have like a square rectangular shaped room in here. And we actually thought that things were coming from the sides instead of just coming directly in front. So it's DTS and uh, Dolby audio enabled, but not Atmos or um, DTSX. So any of those height effects doesn't play it, but it actually does a really good job of doing a recreative or a realistic type of sound soundscape. So this thing is kind of cool because it does give you that kind of smart TV in a box type of experience. Because typically, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you go with a projector, you don't get those um, bells and whistles anymore. You basically have to get a Roku or an Apple TV or whatever to play your Netflix or any other any of the rest of those streaming services that you're really familiar with on a TV front. 
So if you're going to projector, you kind of have to change your whole idea of what you think it is. But with this one, it kind of gives you an all-in-one box. I keep saying it's all-in-one because it gives you the smart TV, it gives you the uh, projection system, and also gives you the sound bar, and then you're, you're pretty much off of the races. So you can legitimately put this all-in-one, um, uh, have this all-in-one uh, unit in your house, and you don't have to worry about ever having to buy anything else for that specific purpose. Okay, so overall image quality on this projector is really good. I don't know how it stacks up against the ViewSonic or the Optima. Those are basically do using the same um, DLP laser type of um, effect on this one. But at the same time, the LG does give you a little more of that uh, native 4K type of experience. So I don't have my I don't have firsthand experience with those, so I can't speak to it. But otherwise, the the image quality on this thing is going to be pretty much on par with a lot of the uh, HDR TVs that you're going to have already that are going to be 4K. So with this one, I noticed that it does um, 4K HDR10. It doesn't do HLG. It doesn't do HDR10 plus. It doesn't do Dolby Vision. It doesn't do IMAX enhanced. Doesn't do any of that stuff, so don't ask me about it. So let's talk about some pros and cons real quick. So this one's gonna be really good, uh, ultra short throw projector. Basically the reason why you're gonna want this in the first place is gonna be more for like a family type of uh, um, viewing room. Basically this gives you a big TV type of uh, effect without necessarily spending the tens, tens of thousands, 20,000, 30,000, up to 50 and even higher on these type of um, sets. So you get the two piece projection and you get a pretty good um, uh, image overall. Uh, for the actual size that you're going to be having. Another pro is going to be the picture quality. I've already talked about it. You guys know how I feel about the overall image performance on this one. One thing I will note is if you guys want to go ahead and check out some calibration settings, Projector Reviews has some of the best calibration settings that I've seen that works for pretty much anyone's uh, room that's going to be um, out there. So if you want to have something that's a little more personal, highly recommend that you guys call up your, you know, your custom uh, installer, have them come out and calibrate your system so that you know you have your screen and your uh, projector going all on the same uh, wavelength versus you know kind of something that's put together from one person's experience that may may or may not work for you another thing that's important with this one this is a laser projector so it has a motion sensor in it so if you get up close to it well obviously i turned it off right now but if you get up too close to it it'll turn off the image and you don't want lasers shining into your eyes obviously that's not the best for anyone's health and uh, long term, you don't want to be shining lasers into your eyes. So that's really cool that they include that. It's a kind of a family friendly thing that they included in there. And at the same time, if you're going to be having a screen that's uh, movable, uh, please anchor that one down. These things are easily tippable, so you don't want to have you know a, a screen coming down on your kid or your dog or whatever. So another pro is going to be it's all in one solution. Um, the basically the footprint of this one is going to be right on par with the way a soundbar is going to be shaped in the first place. So it's not going to be much bigger than that. So you can have the, you can put this on a cabinet, you can put it on a little uh, pedestal, you can mount this to your wall, you can put it on the floor, whichever one you want to do. Okay, so let's talk about some cons, things that I don't like. I don't like the cheap remote. It's a it's a little remote. It's kind of uh, flimsy. Uh, it works well enough. It's a Bluetooth remote, so you do have to sync it the very first thing out of the box. So make sure that you're paying attention to that. But I mean, just kind of I'm, I'm grasping at things to complain about here. But that's just one thing that I noticed. OK, so another thing I want to talk about is setting this thing up. Alignment. Alignment is critical, especially with something that is ultra short throw. That means that you have to have it level front and back. You have to have a level side to side. And you also have it have to have it level with your yaw. So the biggest thing that you, you have to do is you have to spend the time to get it set up properly. Highly recommend uh, having a nice level surface to mount it on because it does have these little feet on the bottom that can help you out. Uh, basically raise up the front, that's all you get. You don't get anything else. So you don't get the back to be able to be able to control. You can only, you're only in control of the front. So it's really, really hard to get set up, but once you get it set up, please don't ever touch it again. Don't let your animals near it. Don't let your kids near it. Um, I ran into this problem yesterday. I started filming this video and then I, it just became a huge pain. So um, set it and forget it, never touch it again. So that's one thing that I wanna put in the con section. Another thing is it's a class two laser. It's a laser projector. Obviously you get that 25,000 hours out of it and then it goes to half of its initial brightness. But at the same time, it's a class two laser. So if you stare into it, you can damage your vision. So um, obviously that motion sensor that was put in there as a, as a fail safe, I've turned it off right now. Um, but that is one thing to note that, and that's one thing I wanted to put in the cons. Even though you get a great image, you do have the enhanced danger of having a uh, class two laser in your household. Okay, so another con I wanna talk about is gonna be the um, Bluetooth on this. I didn't necessarily have great success with it. I have uh, Apple devices, my buddy has Android. We tried you know, pairing things up and casting to this actual unit. 
we didn't have great success with it. I couldn't even pair with it at all. And he was actually able to pair, but he wasn't able to get an image broadcasted on to the projector. So maybe you guys will have better luck with it. Maybe if I, you know, jack around with the settings a little more, or if I call customer service, I'll be able to nail it hundred percent. But for my purposes, I wasn't able to use the Bluetooth as it was intended for this, uh, for this actual review video. Next thing I want to talk about is gaming. Gaming, everyone always talks about with projectors. Uh, what, what's, what's the latency on it? I haven't necessarily recorded it, but uh, with the latencies that I've seen online, it's over 100 uh, milliseconds. So that is terrible for anyone that's online gaming, anyone that does gaming competitively. If you're just sitting there playing like, uh, you know, video games in your house, you know, like Tetris and whatnot, it's going to be fine for you. You know, like it's, it's not really going to be an issue. But if, if people that like to have an edge on gaming, it's going to give you a little more um, lag than you're going to be used to. And it's not going to be the overall best experience that you could have, especially if you're used to using a TV versus using a projector. So last two things I want to talk about is that this uh, Vava 4K Ultra short throw projector is capable of doing up to a 150 inch image. So now we had it uh, displaying on this ultra short throw uh, projector screen. We had that, uh, this, this is 100 inches that you guys were seeing before. And this is a full on, uh, pretty much maxed out capability of this projector um, at, at its ragged edge. So now um, this is what you're going to expect on a 170 inch acoustically transparent SI screen. Um, but overall, I think that the image quality that comes through on this thing is, is pretty impressive. Even though the ALR isn't necessarily great, especially in this uh, super bright environment and this white screen, you still get a pretty good image if you're going to be using this uh, with, with a white type of screen. But the last thing like I was talking about is you do get a fair amount of ceiling bleed if you're not using an ALR type of screen. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the Vava 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector review. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I've been really impressed with the overall performance of this one. I've had this thing for a long time, and to be honest, I wasn't necessarily impressed with it at first. But once you get it set up with a proper screen, um, that is, it's, it's going to make all the difference. Basically, I was using this on the wall. Didn't look great. Um, if you guys really want to enhance your overall um, image, obviously get a screen, um, but at the same time, you have to pair your projector with your screen. So this is an ultra short throw projector. So make sure you get an ultra short throw screen. Um, this thing, basically the way it works is ultra short throw screens. I'm not sure if you're well familiar with it, kind of has a sawtooth design. So anything coming from the bottom gets reflected back into your eyes, right? Anything coming from up top, like windows, lights, or you know lamps or whatever that stuff, it's not going to have an effect on your actual image. So it's a two piece design has two, two sides to it. One's the bottom, one's the top. So one actually allows um, the light to get back into your um, eyes and one basically does not. So that's the main reason for that. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead in this video here. If you want links to any of this stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it down in the description. Obviously make sure you get a nice uh, ultra short throw projector and then pair it with a nice ultra short throw screen. Um, I wouldn't necessarily mix and match and having this with a normal ALR screen. Um, this ultra short throw ALR screen is, is a really good, good choice to go with, especially with this Vava 4k projector down here. But if you guys want links to this stuff, I'm gonna leave it down in the description. As always, make sure you like favorite, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. He does have hairs. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>